Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back. It's process number 129 entitled Dream Big. And this is a single page layout using some more of those 3x4 and 4x6 pocket scrapbooking cards that I used or left over from the ones that I've used in the previous process video. This is of course a continuation of me documenting my my um, my family's time at um, Disneyland and also California Adventure last summer. And so I'm starting off with a yellow cardstock, which is um, kind of different because I usually work with white, but I wanted that white um, base for some mixed media thing that I'm doing here. So I'm going to add that to a yellow just to frame it. And then I have this distressed ink. I think it's fossilized something. I can't remember, but it's a... Um, a distressed ink, a, a ranger distressed ink, and um, I am just adding it to some plastic sheet and then applying a little bit of water and then I'm going to smush it onto the page just to kind of give it a little bit more accent because the white is very stark. It's um, It needed a little bit more color in there and I thought yellow would be good because there is a little bit of yellow in my photo as well as some of the items that I am going to be using. So I pulled out a bunch of 3 by 4 here and at this time I'm just going through them just trying to figure out which one I like. That strip that says magic and also the diagonal red stripe was cut from a piece of paper. I think also from Simple Stories. Um, so I'm just trimming that down. I do have three four by six photos here. I'm not going to trim any of it down, but I am going to overlap them just so that they could be centered on my page. I have this four by six card that I am just cutting out the speech bubble around it. And so I'm going to use that on the top of the page. As you can see, I haven't adhered anything. Um, if you are worried about your, your um, ink, the smushing ink that you have done to transfer onto your photo make sure that that's dry but because I'm not adhering anything it's just actually just sitting on top of it so I'm not too worried about the, the ink transferring on those um, on those pictures and then I wanted to use this dream big um, with some kind of foil coloring on there as as my title and then I cut that out with a circle cutter and then I have the scallop um, papers that I have cut with a nestability scallop die. I have a bunch of them. Sometimes I, you know, when I don't want to scrapbook, but I know I have a lot of scraps to work with, sometimes I kind of do a die cutting binge and just cut a bunch of shapes on there. So as you can see, I'm kind of figuring out, is it look better with yellow, look better with red or with black and then I am going to eventually work with black. At first I thought well maybe I can create a mat to go around it but my circles because I wanted to just have a very thin mat so I thought that if I had if I cut that um, a little bit bigger than my circle that it would have a perfect mat but the smallest that I can or the second size that I can cut it is with creating no sorry the second the next cut that I were able to cut from the circle is uh, it creates a one and a quarter inch space and I didn't like that I wanted it thinner so I just left it alone I am going to use this craft circle later on but um, I just decided I would just leave it onto the black scallop just so that um, it will pop out a little bit more and that's that's how it's going to be and then I found this one that says best day ever and I am going to cut that out. And then I have this little piece of the yellow star. It was a very thin piece. I would have to say only like an inch or something. And I cut that in half and then just spread it on um, each side of my photo collage. Kind of making it seem like it's actually one long strip when it, it, when it is not. So here I'm going to take a little break so I can change my um, or add a new roll of tape in my ATG gun and then I'm good to go. Then I'm going to, I'm, I placed adhesive on all of the backs of the photos but I am not pushing onto it just quite yet because I wanted to tuck in those papers and I wanted to make sure that they're aligned so that it will have the impression that it's one long strip when it actually it's only a one inch thick strip. 
And then I cut this dotted paper. It's actually a three by four card and I am doing the same thing, lining them up to make sure that they look like one long continuous line. So this is this kind of technique is perfect for when you um, have a lot of scraps and you just you love the paper but you know there's not enough to go across the page. You can always tuck it behind papers or like what I did, photos and then make it give that impression that it's one long piece. Then I cut out the circles, um, the craft circle that I had pre-cut before, cut that in half and then I adhere that on two separate parts of my page. Now I'm adhering the circle piece with just um, my tape and then I'm going to adhere the dream big part onto that scallop with some foam adhesive to make it pop up. So these photos are uh, again just uh, a bunch of images from the trip that my family and I took last summer to Disneyland and I wanted to focus this on because this was my this was my son's first time going to Disneyland and so I wanted to create a page just for him that will go in his album and talk about how you know the experience that he had and he really loved it. It was kind of interesting because he's only two but he did not seem to be afraid um, with any of the the rides that, of course, there's some rides that he can't ride yet because he's too little, but the rides that he did go, he there was no fear with him whatsoever, and so I thought that was cool, and so I jotted that down onto um, the craft half circle that I'm, I added on the bottom. And then I'm using some more of my homemade enamel dots, and I'm going to adhere that in three different spots in my layout. And I just put some um, glue dots on the back of it, and that will adhere that. Now, if for some reason in the future it pops off of my page, seriously, I'm not going to bother with it. I mean, I guess there are some that would kind of be upset that it came off, but it's just those, it's just the kind of finishing touch it's not the the most important thing on my layout so if it comes off which I I know there has been some layouts that I've done in the past that it has come off I'm it, it doesn't bother me it's not it yeah anyway so here are some close-ups and I hope you guys like this video if you did did like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you guys soon bye guys